My name is Hisham Shalabi. I am a foot and ankle consultant in Edinburgh. Uh, I will speak in this video about the standard surgical correction of the bunion deformity or hallux valgus. In hallux valgus, the first metatarsal moves inward, while the two moves outward. This creates the bunion deformity. The deformity keeps progressing over years due to further tightening of the muscles that keep the toe in the deformed position. The patient uh, usually complains of pain over the bunion area. The forefoot becomes broad, causing normal shoes to feel tight. The patient usually has difficulty finding shoes that are comfortable enough. Due to the overcrowding of the toes, the patient may experience rubbing in between the toes or second toe deformities like clawing or overriding. Many patients are also more aware of their feet and concerned about the way the feet look. Surgery involves two incisions. The first incision goes in the first web space to release the muscles that are pulling the toe. The second incision goes on the inside of uh, the bunion area. Through this incision, the bunion is trimmed and a Z-shaped cut is performed in the metatarsal. This cut is translated to reduce the width of the forefoot and fixed with two screws. The excess bone is then trimmed and removed. A small wedge is then taken out from the proximal phalanx to correct the overall alignment of the toe. This is fixed with a small staple, which restores the overall alignment of the toe. Here we can see before and after x-rays of a severe hallux valgus or bunion deformity being corrected using this technique. This is currently the standard technique for correction of the bunion deformity in the majority of cases, and it yields excellent results and allows early mobilization following uh, the procedure with full weight bearing without the need for any plaster casts. It also allows early movement of the joint, which is very important for the overall function. If you have been experiencing pain and inconvenience from your bunion for more than six months and you have tried the conservative treatment with little improvement, then you need to be examined and investigated by a specialist. Thank you for watching.